Good morning. Day after the blue wave of tears. Ah, oh, Cynthia. You'll get over it. You'll 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 get over it. Pull up your big boy big girl pants and you'll get over it. There'll be other chances to win. Uh, before I get into the story, I want to give a shout out to my friend, my friend Jimmy Dore, my brother <laughs> from a different mother. Sent me a beautiful letter. I sent uh, I sent out some some uh, stickers. Jimmy Dore has stickers. Jimmy Dore Show, Four Door Productions in California. Excellent, uh, excellent commentary in California. Former Young Turk. Love Jimmy Dore. Jim, by the way, you know, I'm running for, for the United States Senate here in New York. You know, it's, uh, when, when, uh, let me, call me up, man. I want to go on your show. I want to talk about, I want to talk about real politics. My platform is down below. Read it. It's all down here. Raise the, you know, raise the corporate tax rate. Just read it and let me know. <laughs> so anyway, so, um, I want to read Cynthia Nixon's concession. Uh, flunky Cynthia Nixon's concession. Let's read it. This is what she said uh, hours after uh, getting, getting her ass handed to her by Cuomo in a fake election. We have fundamentally changed the political landscape in this state. We have changed what is expected of a Democratic candidate in New York and what we can demand from our elected leaders. This campaign forced the governor to make concrete commitments that will change the lives of people across the country. What have you changed? Let's talk about that. What have you changed? You've changed things for the, for the worst. You, Cynthia Nixon, have galvanized the corruption. And I'll tell you what. Did you address election fraud? Right? Because that is the number one issue. Voter suppression, the fact that that democratic that part people can vote in a in a in a in an election in an open primary they can't walk in and vote they got to be on some kind of some super democratic list to vote you didn't address shit all you addressed was that people two people with the same vagina can marry each other and 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 everybody should smoke pot and and people of color should should be equal. We already know these fucking things, you idiot. I'm pissed off. Right? Fundamentally changed the political landscape. Yeah, for the worse. For the worst. You made it you made it more difficult. You've 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 basically said that you've you're co-signing the bullshit. That's what you're doing. You're co-signing the bullshit. You co-sign the corruption and the money grabbing and the Wall Street fanatics that buy buy these politicians. That's what you do. You do it by not calling it out. You take your fame. Who are you? You're an actor. You're not a you're not an activist. You're a fucking actor. Go back to reading the script. Pick up the script. Go to Hollywood. Read the script. You didn't inspire anybody with with that kind of fame, with that kind of platform. You didn't have any. You didn't get anything done. You made it worse. Now you said that even a celebrity with with mass appeal on television, television personality, still can't beat the corruption. That's what you said. And you said now that you've lost, you're going to suck it up and accept that. That's changing the political landscape. The campaign has forced forced the governor to make concrete commitments. In an election season with lying Democrats, you think that you forced him to do anything? That guy cheated you left, right, and center. He called you a Jew hater in, in the Jewish community. Right? Commitment? What commitment? What commitment did you force Cuomo that they're not going to take that commitment and throw it in the fucking garbage? They already did. It's already in the garbage. Cuomo is now the governor for another four years. He's not facing re-election. And they're just going to... Now he's going to take his his big Italian sausage out, and he's going to piss all over everybody, everybody that's left, right? They, 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 these people don't care about you. And you left Letitia James as the Attorney General, fucking Letitia James, the public advocate, the silent, the silent woman in the, in the public advocate that, that, you guys, that's the, that's even worse. I mean, 
uh, you know, a, a, a nobody, broken civil rights, fucking screaming black lady. Ah! Letitia James as the Attorney General. Good job. Good job, Cynthia. Good job. Good job, Zephyr Teach Out. Good job. Our revolution. Woo! We're moving everybody to the left. Are you really? Are you really? I don't think so. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Candidate for the United States Senate. Jimmy, give me a call, man. I want to be on your show. Please.